Well, I'm Ranger Cookie, and I'm out here going to my camps again. It's kind of cool right now, so I'm like, well, what the hell? Let's go, let's go to the camp and check them out. It's been almost a month since I've been out there. So let's take a walk through the woods and chat. This is my hiking and checking video. Enjoy. Well, uh, it's during the dry season. The water is dried up. You can see where the water stands. See all that brown leaves? It means that means that's where the water stands. So when it rains, it fills up. But hey, we're going to Hobo. And uh and I'm gonna show you something at the end of this video. It's called my bug out bag. Whoa, Ranger Cookie finally got a bug out bag. You know it's hard to build one of those. Build it right. Since I got that big bag from Josh, the gear sanctuary guy, I've been adding and taking away stuff in that bag. Well, I need this. I took no, I don't need this, so I take it out. I need this, so I add it. So now I finally got a good bug out bag that I like to show you. It's gonna be at the end of this video, but right now we're gonna take a walk to my trail, to my campsite. And yes, you see it's pretty hard to navigate, but I got used to my trail now. I know which way to turn and which way to go. I don't get lost like I used to. Yeah, I got lost one time. <laughs> went that way. It is real thick out there, so I went outwards. And I was telling one of my subscribers, you need to know your woods. Basically, what you want you you want to do is go to Google Earth. Do research on that area that you are going to take a hike in before you go take a hike. Because what's happened, if you know where all the points are at when you're taking a hike, you know I can find civilization this way. I know if I did this, I find this. If I took that creek, that creek was going to lead me to humans and I can get out the woods if you get lost. So knowing the woods, is going on and doing research, finding maps on this place or places are you going and study the map, study where you're at, which way is north because that's always going to be important, especially reading the map. So when you go into a different area or a different location, learn that area or bring a map with you. They got so much good technology out there today that you can just bring a phone now and you know where you're at. That's how technology has become. It came so advanced that now you, can, you got everything on your phone except for the kitchen sink. So I'm just taking a hike, chatting video. Hope you enjoy it. Um, I'm going to show you some little little hacks to, that over time I used to do you're out in the woods and you get a splinter how you gonna get it out well if you like me wear a hat all the time what I did I put a needle in my hat see right here there's a needle right there so if I need a needle to get a splinter out see right here little needle I can get that needle out with no problem. That's all I do is take some boiling water, boil the thing, or heat it up with a cigarette lighter, have a store of needle, dig it out. And oh, it's disgusting. I'd rather be out of pain than being disgust. Right in my finger, a splinter. So if you have a hat and you wear a hat, put a safety pin in it. And if you don't, have a hat and you can't put one of them long pins get one of them baby pins place that in your uh in one of your clothes that you always wear see this is my play clothes i go in the woods with this all the time this is my summer clothes right here 
My winter clothes is dark, dark green pants with a brown shirt. I find it's thicker, it's made out of cotton. Polyester and cotton. The two items I like to wear. I like to wear the polyester during the summer and the cotton during the summer. I mean winter. Let me rephrase that. Polyester during the summer and cotton during winter. Oh boy, it's gonna storm. Oh well, it won't be my first time walking in the rain. I walk in the rain so many times, it's like, I enjoy it. If I have to, I take my clothes off. <laughs> it won't be the first time either for that. <laughs> Would you like to see the Ranger Cookie naked? <laughs> Mama loves you. Basically, it's been a while. Like I said, it's been a while since I came out here to camp. So I'm coming out here to check on camp. And see how well it's been holding up without me being around for a while. Make sure the rain didn't tore down the tarps or the weather. When well, somebody's been out here stealing or digging. So I'll come out here to check it. Um, you know what's strange? I still got seven mirrors left. <laughs> Can you believe it? I got still seven mirrors. I thought they'd be gone within a day. Nope. And another thing I'm out here, I'm doing a test of my gear. Hey, look at my gear back there. I'm doing a test to see how well I can handle my arm. Um, how well that bag's feeling to me. My endurance, this is an endurance uh, test I'm doing right now. So, that's why I'm also doing a test. I'm doing an endurance test. to see how well I can endure all this weight on my back. I think I need to move, like they say, always keep the weight on both sides of your waist on this harness. So, doing this test, it's going to help me find out which way I should put these bags. Because I know the one in by, behind me, the one in the middle, is full of water also. What I do, I fill them all up with water. And just take a hike out in the woods. Yep, it's ready to storm. And I don't got no flashlight. I don't need one. See, that's one thing about me. Once I learn the trail... And I, my light goes out, I'm getting home. I'm a getting home while you, while you stuck in the woods. Oh, banana spider, walk around. All right, this is uh, one of my little chatting videos. I'm heading to Hobo and, and base camp. You know, just like I said, take a look. I'm repeating myself. Just like everybody on YouTube, they always repeat themselves. Yeah, I want to show you how I like a fierce rod. Then I just seen another video of a different guy doing the same thing. Yeah, well, I'm going to do it too. I want to show you how I like this fire, this fat wood, a hundred times, but just a different way with a different person. I don't know how y'all guys can watch this different videos of the same thing. Just different people doing it. I don't mind a challenge. No one challenged me in a long time. I'll take any challenge. But it's gonna be the cookie way. How I like to do it. Because it's the same old thing. You ain't seen how the fight strike a fire seed, right? What's the difference? Let me strike it. Let me do it. <laughs> You saw my video, my uh, combustion video. I'll show you how I lit fire, fat, fat wood. I think Landman challenged me to the fire stick, feather stick uh, challenge. No, oh shit, oh, right here. I almost got lost again in my own woods. It only take a few seconds. If you ever get lost, do not run. Just like when you catch on fire. What you do when you catch on fire? Stop. Roll. What happens when you come to a red light? I mean, 
ready across the street. Stop. Look both ways. Look again the other way. So always look both ways and look back. What happens if you get lost in the woods? Stop. Think. Retrace your path. Move. Remember those things. You know, I was taught in school how to stop and roll and fire. I was taught how to cross the street, but never, never taught what happens if you get lost in the woods. You stop, think, pace your last pace, then move. Because it only takes a few feet and you're lost. A few feet. Trust me. I'm gonna put a video called Ranger Cookies and Mike's Revenge. Uh, uh, Mike. Majority Avengers. You gonna laugh your ass off how many times he gets lost. But he he only that's the first time he came out here. Uh, see right here. Which way to go? You continue that way, but the trail's this side. <laughs> that was my hidden trail. I make you go the opposite way. And then you're like, you lost. Oh, well, you stop right here. I know you can't see diddly squat because the camera's getting, it's getting dark out here. Well, I want to go camping so darn bad. But it's going to, look at it. The weather's going to rain out here. And it's hot too. One thing about Louisiana people, we cook out here. You people up there and up north, y'all freezing right now. Well, we burning up. I remember the time me and my friends went to Virginia after the Hurricane Katrina. Boy, I froze my ass off up there. 100 degrees down here, 60 and something degrees at night and 70 degrees during the day up there in Virginia. Look where we at. Let's take a look on top of the roof. I don't see no water. That's good. Smell off like somebody's been here. But nope, no one's been here. I wouldn't mind anybody been here. Look, look at this freaking jungle. Oh shit. I'm always having problems with this. Oh, he's fallen. Well, at least I, I checked it. I'm gonna see if I can fix that where I don't do that no more. I think this is a deadly tree, and I'm playing with it. All right, I'm gonna take a small break with y'all. Hope you enjoyed this video. Well, I'm back. You know, I can't wait for winter. I was wondering if I can get my friend Donnie to come out here to camp out with the Ranger Kooky and vice versa. But I hate to say this about Donnie's camp. There's no water. It's kind of boring there. But hey, it's a good place to do bushcrafting and work on your skills like I did pimp, pimp my camp I went to Danny's campsite and I pimped my skills out or worked my skills out well I'm done at the camp so I'm heading back to the car I hope you enjoy this video and I can't wait to uh, show you my bug out bag I'm going to this park right here, the John Davidson Park, and open it up and show you what I got in it. Let me know if some of it is junk. Let me know if that's good stuff, because I like opinions. Oh, you should put this, you should put that. I want to know. I want to know what should I put in that bag. Be honest, don't lie. Just let me know what I should put in there and what should I take out. And let's go, let's go there. All right, see you in a few seconds. All right, earlier, I was talking about know your woods. 
Um, for example, if I get lost right now, I know if I walk that way, I'll find a road. And if I walk kind of like this way, I'll find another road. And if I walk back, I'll find the bayou. And I can walk up the bayou to find a house. Because I know by La Combe, you know, you got homes all over. And I can always find a house, a home on, on the bayou. And say, look, I'm lost in the woods. Sorry, I'm trespassing. You know, I know where I'm at. This be all right to go on your property to get out this damn thing. And sometimes they do, they do that. I remember when I was like 13 or 19 or so, I was walking in some woods. I didn't know how far I went, and I'm like, damn it, lost. But I know where I'm at. If I just walk this way, I'll find a road or a house. And I found the house, start yelling. I told the guy I'm hunting, I'm hunting, and I'm lost. I know where I'm at, I know where this road is. I just want to you know, get permission to go past you on your property because I got a gun. I don't want you to think I'm trying to hurt you or whatever. Yeah, you go ahead. So, like I said, know your woods. Bring at least a map if you've never been to a place that you've never been before. Always bring a map. Compass does help if you know how to use the damn thing. Unless you know how to tune to north. That's north. That's north for that way. <laughs> See, if you tune to north, you know which way is north, which way is south. Never eat shredded wheat or spell news. And that will also help you. Never eat shredded wheat. The Four Corners News. Well, I'm trying to get out of here before it storms. Look how bad the weather is. It's dark as hell out here. Camping in a hot summer day, man, it's not worth it. It's trying to sleep. Oh, it's miserable. I know, oh yeah, you're just a wussy. No. You come camping this hot weather. This is Louisiana. Louisiana is hot, muggy. You have to drink more fluids. I have to bring more equipment. Well, not this place. This place has water, so I'm good with water. Especially this place. It's the other places you got to bring water. You have to stop for water more often. Sweating. I'm sweating like a... A derg. All right. Well, why don't you go ahead and take a walk with me through the woods and see if you can find your way back. <laughs> see, I like these open areas because I always take a different path every time. So I won't pack down the leaves or, the, or kill the, the tree, little trees out here. So you can't find where, I uh, where my campsite is. <laughs> Somebody knows where your campsite is, you can go back there and take stuff, destroy it. If it don't give you respect, you know, the camper law, the fishing law, and the hunter's law. When you find somebody's stuff out in the middle of the woods, leave it alone. It's not yours. Just go out there and touch it, make sure, you know, it's been occupied so they don't think it's abandoned. So that's what I do. I go out there to my campsite. Move some stuff around, sure it's not abandoned. Then I uh, move on, especially during the hot season. Let's go out there, play around, mess around, do some activity, then be on my way back. I'm like, this is so hot, it cooled down, that's why I left. Come out here, I'm like, well, it's cloudy, it's cool. I mean, it's not 100 degrees or 90 degrees, it's like 80. But the humidity is kind of low, so I'm doing good. <sighs> Knowing your woods is another thing. Know when to turn, when to, to go around something, walk across something. Watch for snakes, especially around the water areas and the ditches. And 
Believe it or not, I just want to let you all know, I've been self-taught a lot of stuff. Uh, when I was a kid, knowing, you know, certain things to look for, signs in the woods. I could probably show you where the road is or a pond. Just by looking at the wood, how the woods look like. And I could be getting lost right now. Nope. <laughs> All this new growth changed everything in the summer. Summertime also changed a lot. A lot of thicket. If you look at my other videos, you see how you can see through the whole woods. But right now it's summer, so all the, the trees grew and got that green lush flavor to it. Alright, tune in for the second part of my bug out bag.